Hey, YTPC, Padre Piper coming to you via the virtual airwaves of YouTube, saying hello, YouTube beach community, I'm sorry, pipe community. I hope you are finding all the blessings in your life. Wanted to take to the virtual airwaves to say hello, uh, wish everybody a happy summer, and to continue uh, my summertime project of bringing some top five lists to the YTPC. Today, we're talking about the top five Padres top five summer blends to smoke uh, in your pipe. But as, uh, as has been the case uh, in previous top five list videos, I've also got the input of YTPC pipe panelists experts so we're going to find out what they also have to say but before we do that i just wanted to share uh with you some things that i've received uh, in the mail over the past uh, days actually a couple of weeks on some of this stuff just such a blessing to be uh in communion and communication with the, the good people in the ytpc you know i did my thousand sub giveaway uh, some time back and uh, Louisiana, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, well, hi Louisiana, Texas Piper, you too, you were one of the winners too. Vintage Piper down over in Florida was uh, kind enough upon receipt of uh, his winnings, sent me a little note, a little postcard from Florida. Uh, he just, he says on the back here, he says, I wanted to say thank you for the opportunity to take part in your 1K sub contest it was fun and enlightening. It's signed by the Vintage Piper. Folks, this is just the kind of community we have. He didn't have to send a thank you note or a little postcard, but he did anyway. Such a, a classy group of people in this YTPC. We, I, I count it a blessing, folks. I just count it a blessing to be a part of it, and uh, you are a part of that, and so I say thank you. A couple other things I received. Uh, my friend uh, Byron, he goes, Oh, I just dropped my matches. Not to be confused with my matches 860. I've knocked over the actual matches. It's a little windy here out on the beach in the summertime. Uh, but uh, Burke Devlin 66 also sent me something very recently. And I wanted to, uh, it's, it was this. It was a box. No, it was what was inside the box. This is just fascinating stuff. Let's see if you can read. Oh, man, the smell. Our Lady of Latakia. No, I'm sorry. Uh, this is uh, called um, Balkan Sobrani. Now, this is actually a match for the original. I don't quite know the full story. I don't know if I'm going to get it right, so I'm just going to try and give you a version of it, and I'll let this fine YouTube pipe community member chime in in the comments below if I got this wrong. But he ended up, somehow or another, uh, crossing paths with uh, an old guy who was a blender back in the day used to blend this I think in the 70s as a match in his pipe shop for the original Balkan Spring. and this is supposed to be a spot-on uh, replication of the original okay now what we got out on the market today of course is a match to the original as well this is this is supposed to be closer now I've never had the original from the 70s in fact uh, when this good piper sent this to me, he sent me a message and said something to the effect of in 1972 when he smoked it for the first time, he wanted to know if I was alive. And I had to let him know, yes, yes, I was alive. Back in 1972, I was in Miss Morrison's kindergarten class at St. Catherine. And uh, when it was time for heads down nap time, Padre was sneaking out of class. I never could take a nap. And I was going behind the gym and enjoying a bowl of Prince Albert in my corn cob. Okay, maybe not quite so truthful there. But yes, I was around in 1972. Thank you, my friend. And thank you for sending this to me. I can't wait to give that a try. What else came my way? I have had opportunity, was contacted by um, the uh, bearded pipe smoker. Wanted to know if I'd be interested in a trade. And I said, well, I'm, I, why not? What, what, what's going on? And he knows that I kind of uh, am, have an affection for these inexpensive but incredibly well-made Mr. Brog Pearwood pipes. And he had one still in the box, still in the bag. I want to show this to you. Brand new, unsmoked. 
Look at that beauty. Now, I'm going to be honest, I, I forget the exact make and model of this Mr. Brog uh, just because uh, my old eyes can't uh, see what it says on there. Uh, I'll put it down in the link as to, to, to what it is. But um, he just wanted, he saw my uh, cherry tobacco blends. He said, ah, I'm, tr I'm interested in some of those cherry blends you talked about. He sent me some of that. So we had a grand time. I, I sent him uh, just, uh, you know, a number of different, uh, mostly aromatics that uh, he could try. And um, uh, he, he sent this over to me. I've yet to use it, but I can't wait. Look at this. Isn't that a good looking pipe, huh? Look at that. Yes. So. Thank you, Bearded Pipe Smoker. Link down in the bucket to his channel. Um, did I say bucket? It should be a pail if we're at the beach this summer, right? Oh, it's down in the cellar. What else did I have to show you? I want to make sure I don't miss anything before I get to the list. This is um, absolutely the one of the kindest, uh, most generous gifts I've ever received. And I don't know why this piper chose to send this to me, but they did, and I'm blessed for it. And um, this is from a guy, something wrong with the beach? Is, is the beach collapsing around us? Oh my goodness. Um, this is a guy named uh, Tony Piper Alpashar, and I think I'm pronouncing that right, because that is, I believe, how you pronounce the pipe maker. Al Pajar. And um, this was so beautifully wrapped up. I wish I would have uh, actually waited to unbox this in your presence, but it was like in, it was gift wrapped. What an incredible, nice thing for this guy to do. When I opened the box, what I found was these two little tobacco pouches. They are um, marked. Let me see. I haven't even taken them out of the plastic. They are beautifully marked with the insignia of the Al Pajar uh, Pipe Company. And if that wasn't kind enough, there was a larger leather pipe pouch, again, marked with the insignia of the company. And when I opened this pouch, this is the part that just really absolutely stunned me. Look at what's in here, folks. Not one, but two of these beautiful unsmoked brand new pipes that's one I want to make sure I don't drop these so I'm being extra careful that's two let me see if I can hold them up together and show you this incredible gift isn't that just the most gorgeous thing what what an incredible Tony Piper Al Pashar I don't know what I did to uh, deserve this kindness, sir. But God bless you and uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I am so, so appreciative. Uh, before we lose any more of the beach, I would like to share with you my top five list of summer blends that you should be smoking on the beach when you, you get out there or you go fishing. I'll tell you this, when I go out to the beach or fishing or somewhere, I like to bring a corn cob in the summer. That way, you know, if you, you drop it in the water, it's no big, it's a corn cob, right? Eh. I, I've got my, my uh, golf tee slash tamper, compliments of Arista Cobb. Thank you, Scott. And I always bring a cheap lighter. Um, this is from the dollar store. And that way, again, if it gets lost, you know, it gets lost. I don't have to worry about you know, knocking over the acolyte closet. You know who you are. And uh, I'm going to tell you what's in this pipe because I'm going to smoke some uh, a little bit later when I finish this video and it's actually on my list. So let's talk about those top five tobacco blends. Now, you'll remember that I also had some folks in the YTPC, what I call the expert pipe panel, chime in with some questions too. And when it came to summer blends, uh, my nine panelists were asked three questions. I'm gonna give you their answers before I give you my top five list, but just a shout out to those gents in uh, alphabetical order. I wanna thank Briar Report, great 
great site, by the way, briarreport.com. Uh, Burke Devlin, 66. Derek Tant, the mayor. Eric, blue collar pipe smoker. Ghost Cobb, Mark VV, what's going on? I'm losing the beach here. Mark VV, matches 860. The Artful Codger and the Vintage Piper. Thank you for being a part of the panel of experts. Let's find out what you had to say and let's talk about what Padre's top five summer blends are. And we're gonna come inside off the beach to do this. I just thought it might be a little safer. So again, thank you to our uh, pipe panelist experts in the YTPC. They were asked three questions. The very first question I asked and even as I say that, I realize I might have lost my top five list. Hang on one second. Ah, here it is. I want to keep that handy. I didn't want it to blow away when I was outside. Ah, these, this is the first question each, each of the panelists were asked about summer blends. When you think of summer blends, the first blend that comes to mind, whether you like that blend or not, the first blend that comes to mind. Here's some of the answers that, that came from our YouTube pipe community experts. Virginias and Burleys, just kind of across the board there. Escudo, how about Boswell Dan's blend, which is, a, a, if I'm not mistaken, a Virginia. Someone said Country Squire Texas Tea. Uh, somebody offered Shandy Graf as an, uh, Shandy Gaff as an option. That's one I have not had been curious about. Gonna have to see if I can get a little of uh, that to try out one day. Uh, let's see, Dunhill Deluxe Navy Rolls comes to mind for this Piper. This is my favorite blend. Half the reason is the tobacco and half is because it's what I smoke while watching the sailboats out of the yacht club in the evening. That blend and that experience are linked and remind me of summer. And no, it's not Royal Yacht. I'm a Navy man. Promise these guys I wouldn't out them? Honestly, I don't know who that is, but I'm curious now. And me thinks if they're hanging out at the Yacht Club, well, they're doing pretty well. Uh, somebody mentioned Three Friars is a summer blend that comes to mind. Pal o' mine. Uh, I don't know who said that, but that was one of my favorites. Rest in peace, McClellan. Rest in peace. Captain Black White. This person says, I think it, it is universally enjoyed by everyone around you. It's light and unassuming, a great blend for summer activities around friends and family, or just puts in, puts in in the yard or the garage. Absolutely. What do you think of when you think of summer blends? Second question they were asked, what's your top five summer blends that you enjoy? If you don't have five, just give me one, give me two, give me three, I don't care. Here's some of the answers. Counting down uh, from number five to number one, this pipe panelist expert says number five, Elizabethan Match by Sutliff. Number four, Orlick Golden Slice. Number three, Half and Half. Number two, Velvet. Number one, Haunted Bookshop. Hmm. For some reason, that doesn't ring a bell for me for summer. But hey, to each his or her own, right? Someone else said their uh, tops were um, a Scudo, Cabby's Mixture, and uh, I am not familiar with this one, and so I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it because as you know i tend to be hooked on phonics sometimes uh, or not Dablane de ore it's apparently by savinelli which i do know how to pronounce so there you go that's three good suggestions you might want to try those for summer blends uh, let's see this piper gave me five suggestions boswell dan's blend cornell and deal three friars cornell and deal derringer peter stokeby bullseye flake and peter stokeby cube cut burley uh, this Piper said that the, the top five summer blends for them are, and these are all Country Squire, believe it or not, from the t Country Squire tobacconist down south here in, uh, in Mississippi. Country Squire Summer Breeze, that's good stuff. Country Squire Treasure Island, that's good stuff. Country Squire Seersucker, Country Squire Blue Ribbon, and Country Squire County Seat. And this Piper adds, did I mention aromatics are perfect for the summer? We've got... Uh, this Piper saying Sandy Graff, uh, Shandy Graff, Sandy Gaff, I'll get it out. Haunted Bookshop, Big and Burly, Old Joe Krantz, and Cube Cut Burly. Uh, let's see, this Piper, number one, Dunhill Deluxe Navy Rolls. Number two, 
or like golden slice. Number three, Robert McConnell Scottish cake. I've been wanting to try some of those Robert McConnell blends. GLP is number four with Telegraph Hill and number five, then number 5.5 and then number 5.5 tied. They give us these three. Rattray's Marlin Flake, Rattray's, Rattray's, Rattray's. Uh, C&D's Oriental Silk and McClellan, I guess it's supposed to be McClellan, it looks like it might be misspelled. McClellan's Oriental number eight. Uh, also hearing from a piper that says uh, Three Friars, Luxury Bullseye, St. James Flake Haunted Bookshop. Somebody's got uh, Palamine Clone, that's their own. I'm going to talk about that when we get to the top five peach blends which I'm gonna be doing soon. Drew Estate, Harvest on the Hudson, uh, Dan Tobacco Blue Note, and Sutliff Multidochi. And then I've got a final top five here. Uh, number five, McClellan Frog Morton on the Bayou, a uh, long personal association with summer evenings and a pipe full of the stuff. Again, rest in peace, McClellan, we miss you. Number four, C&D, Shandy Gaff. Number three, Mixture 79. Number two, Half and Half. Number one, Velvet. And then I asked these guys, do you have a summer no-go? Is there a blend that you've smoked it, you'll never do it again? You just can't. You just can't go there. You cross it off the list, never to be smoked again, no matter how good the summer is going or how bad the summer is going. Summertime blends that are no-goes. This person says, can't help you here. Never had a tobacco I found repulsive that I hate it and could never try again. Another piper gave us a, an N slash A. And I'm assuming that's not Narcotics Anonymous, that it's not applicable. Must be a similar answer to the first Piper. Number three says, uh, I seem to smoke Virginia and vapors in the summer. English blends and OTC or fall and winter smokes. I kind of agree with that. Uh, number four, Peterson Summertime. Uh, somebody else says bacon old fashioned as a, um, as a no-go. <laughs> it's not me. Although I would have to agree, <laughs> you can figure out who that is. I'll give you a hint. Think July 4th. <laughs> On the no-go list of another piper, uh, Dunhill's Elizabethan mixture is okay, but it has this weird chemical kind of tang to it that I don't care for. 965 is good without the added taste. I don't think I'd put it in the never column though. And then uh, let's see what else we got on this. Bright Virginias in general, but I would happily smoke them too. <laughs> that's a piper with a good attitude. Dunhill Nightcap, somebody says, that's a no-go summer blend for them. And then somebody else says, uh, uh, Sutless Multal Doshi is a, a sickly sweet blend. That is for people who hate the taste of tobacco. They can't wait. Uh, I, I'm sorry, they can't get away with smoking sugar cane. So they smoke this. <laughs> it's goopy, doesn't burn well, and snap crackles and pops, which it does. I still like it. Uh, I'm convinced that the reason I have diabetes is because I tried this once. <laughs> Gotta love our expert pipe community. Here's my top five list, folks. Let's get down to it. That's not it. Here's my top five list, folks. Let's get down to it. Number five for me for summer blend, or like Golden Slice. It's a Virginia, it's got that nice citrusy sort of niceness to it. It just it just goes well in the summer. Uh, number four for me is a Country Squire Tobacconist blend. Country Squire, of course, is down in Jackson, Mississippi, and it is Summer Breeze. It's a, uh, it's a sweet, uh, summery flavor of a little bit of honey, a lot of peach, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Highly recommend it. Number three on my list, counting down, is Rainy Day by Ashton. I love that stuff. It's great in a corn cob, and when you get a summer afternoon shower like we so often get down here in the Deep South, it's a wonderful, wonderful flavor to experience and a nice, peaceful, and tasty smoke. Number four, I'm sorry, number two, counting down backwards. Number two is another country Squire Tobacconist mix. It's a rum-topped aromatic entitled Treasure Island. To me, it's uh, it's just wonderful in the summer. It is uh, sweet, it's very sweet. It's a little on the goopy side. Man, it's a good summer mix. Throw it in a corn cob and smoke away. And number one, number one for me, in fact, I have it loaded up in my corn cob and I'm gonna partake of this in just a little bit. I'm gonna go back out to the beach. I'm gonna smoke me one of my favorite summertime blends, and it's Boswell's Sweet Tea. Ah, good stuff, really 
really good stuff. I want to give some honorable mentions. Palomine, I've still got some. Can't get it anymore, but it's it was my all-time favorite summertime mix. I didn't include it in my list because you just can't get it anymore. And also, uh, along those same lines, can't get it anymore, but McClellan's Tropical. Ah, it's it was, it was like a Hawaiian fruit punch. It reminded me of childhood summer. Still have a jar of that and uh, enjoying some this summer. Uh, sparingly, of course, just to, to kind of uh, uh, cherish it. And then I want to give an honorable mention to one, too. Uh, um, Silum's Blue. Silum's Blue. Got a, a citrusy kind of flavor to it. Um, a hint of lime. A very interesting summer mix. A little hard to get a hold of some of those Silum's blends, but you can get them. They're good stuff. In the fall, I like Silum's Black. But in the summer, Silum's Blue. But my top, Boswell's Sweet Tea. I'm going to have some. I want to know from you. Share your comments down below. Do you have any particular types of blends that you enjoy more in the summer? Do you have any no-gos? Let us know about that, too. And anyway, that's about it. I want to wish you a, a wonderful summer. I hope everything is going pleasing and well and peachy for you this summer. Whatever you're smoking, I hope it's bringing you great joy and pleasure. And um, just go out and enjoy it. Before you know it, folks, we're going to be dealing with uh, blizzards and snow and uh, all all the trappings of winter again and we're going to be wishing for summer down here in the deep south where it's approaching 100 degrees it seems like every day with 100 percent humidity we're suffering through it but wasn't just a few months ago that we were having ice on the ground too so you know what the, the, the moral of that is enjoy what you got while you got it there's a blessing to be found in this very moment and I hope that whatever that unique blessing is that the Lord has in store for you, that you are receiving it. Listen, go out, enjoy your summer blends. Padre Piper, wishing you and yours God's peace, grace, and blessings. <laughs>